I was thinking after you get in there, you should cut a promo rather than get into a fight with anyone. Less risk of injury that way, right? If we want to make a real impact tonight, we can't just sit there in our seats or cut a promo. We need to get physical with someone. I was thinking after you get in there, you should cut a promo rather than get into a fight with anyone. Less risk of injury that way, right? If we want to make a real impact tonight, we can't... I thought you should just cut a promo tonight to promote BCW, but it sounds like you and Cole have other plans. Next week's show is one you don't want to miss as Velveteen Dream takes on Adam Cole and what is sure to be... Uh, uh, so, wait, sorry to interrupt, Michael, but something's going on in the crowd. Wait, wait, I recognize those two. Isn't that... They a don't give them the attention they want by saying their names. guys going they can't do this oh no what are they doing why what is happening around here
That's right, you got one. Oh, shit. Thank you. <laughs> He's so pissed. Get them out of here right It looks now. like these two trespassers Bye. are finally leaving. At least we can get on with the show now. was awesome! Triple H must be losing it right now! I know, and even better, we're trending! Yeah. Yeah. I know I had my doubts about this, but this kind of attention will really help our next BCW Yeah, show. yeah, yeah, but before we get there, how are we gonna strike next? What do you mean, strike next? This wasn't a one-time thing? <laughs> oh, no. You, you're all about the buzz, right? You're all about the buzz? We gotta keep this thing going. Yeah, I wanna be trending nonstop. <laughs> Triple H, he's gonna be ready for us next time, so we can't just buy tickets and walk in like we did tonight, okay? We need a different plan. I have an uncle who owns a costume shop. voice was the soundtrack for the biggest matches in squared circle history and now he breaks down the latest happens in the world of pro wrestling get ready for enticing conversations with legendary wrestling commentator jack tice baron blades bcw is certainly pushing its issue with triple h further when last week bcw wrestlers buzz and cole quinn invaded nxt and made their presence known 
This was in response to Triple H recently shutting down the online feed on a BCW pay-per-view for various legal reasons. Now look here, I've seen this type of stuff happen before, and it usually doesn't end well for the guys who are doing the invading. I'm not saying that's always the case. Uh, there's DX's invasion of WCW, which some would say helped turn around the Monday Night Wars in favor of WWE. But that was a much different situation, and more often than not, the little guys who are looking for the rub, if you will, from the bigger company end up getting more than they bargained for. I mean, come on, if Triple H went after BCW just for running a former WWE venue, imagine what he's going to do after these guys jump the barricade and disrupt the NXT broadcast, which we all know is Triple H's baby. See, if I were these guys, I'd stay as far away from Orlando as I could from now on. You made your point. You got some more buzz, pun intended. Now better back off before you do any major damage to your futures, which, to be honest, they may have already done. In any event, I'll be watching to see what BCW's next move is, just like all of you, and I just hope it's a smart one. Our BCW shows were really taking off until Triple H shut down our stream. So, why don't we forget this invasion stuff and just get back to running non-WWE venues? I guess it's because I've worked with Triple H before, and I've seen what happens when someone gets on his bad side. It's not going to end well. <laughs> or maybe you'll be the fool that proves the rule. That's because I just made it up. Do you like it? Bro, your uncle hooked us up. I know. And all he asked is that we plug his costume shop on NXT. It's kind of a weird request, I know, but this stuff's expensive, so I said we'd do it. Uh, okay. I was thinking we'd blend in with the fans better if we dressed up as classic wrestlers. It's a great idea. So who do you want to be? We gotta go with the original invaders, Hall and Nash from the NWO. This is going to be too sweet! Guys, it's the NWO. See, you never know who's gonna show up at NXT. It appears these fans have gotten a little carried away. After last week, are we sure they're fans? Now, I'm skeptical to say the least. Hey, yo. Come on, let's go. You wanna go? Come on, let's go.
confirmed. It's those same two cowards who interrupted the show last week. Come on. Let's go. Destroy them. Finally, some reinforcements have arrived. Yeah, these Indian invaders may have gotten more than they bargained for.
I want you to tear them apart. I have no idea how these two survived the Authors of Let's Pain, go. but hopefully Gargano and Cassius Ono can get the job done. Come on. Come on, Cletus. Come on. Let's go. Oh, no. Now they're Finish in trouble. Them off. The Undisputed Era will put an end to this. Now, this is a rare time. I'm actually cheering for the Undisputed Era. No matter what your feelings are with the Undisputed Era, Byron, they represent NXT against these invaders.
Hey, Hunter, you mad, bro? I mean, I guess I would be too if a couple of indie guys infiltrated my show two weeks in a row and then beat up half my roster. Yeah, you guys are real clever, showing up here again in your cute little costumes. Actually, these awesome costumes are courtesy of Don's Costume Shop, Syracuse, New York, dressing you up since 1993. And if you use the promo code Mr. CQ, you get a 10% off all wrestling costumes. Thanks, Uncle Don. Oh, and to Mom, Dad, Sally, and my dog, Butternuts. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Thank you for supporting me in all of my endeavors. Look at me now! I made the big time, baby! Are you finished? Yeah, man. Anything else you want to plug, or...? BCW? Oh, yeah! You can catch more of the two of us on BCW when Triple H here isn't trying to shut down our shows. Listen, we can stand here and go back and forth, and then you can try to invade again next week in some other not-so-clever way. But I have a different proposal instead. You want to be on NXT so bad, you can come back and have an actual sanction match. I just happen to have the perfect opponent for you, Buzz. So what do you say? You got yourself a deal. That's great, because after next week, your life will be changed forever. What do you mean by that? I don't care, as long as it means we'll mm -hmm. never have to see these two losers again. The so-called Indie Invaders are back again this week, this time for an official match with Buzz taking on Triple H's hand-picked opponent. I guarantee whoever Triple H chooses will be leaps and bounds above the competition that Buzz has faced on the Indie circuit. Hey, guys. We wanted to make you feel at home, so we got you your very own locker room. What's the matter? Is it too big? <laughs> well, at least we have free toilet paper. It's kind of hard to prepare for my match when I have no idea who I'm facing. I would just be ready for anything. Yeah. I mean, I could be facing Braun Strowman because Triple H had me go against him in my tryout match? Maybe. You okay? You seem kind of distracted. Look, I'm just worried how this is going to turn out. I mean, for all of us. I warned you not to get on Triple H's bad side. Yeah, yeah, but with everybody here, it should be fine, right? I hope you're right. Look, I'm going to go see if I can find us an actual dressing room, okay? 